Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the customization options announced, shown off in promo material, artwork and more so far for Battlefront 2. This does not include the concept art by the way because those are just concepts and are possibly not going to be in the game so I won't speculate about that. There's been plenty of customization options in terms of weapon attachments, abilities and outfits shared with us so far so because there has been a lot of them there's been a lot of confusion within the community so I thought it would be important for me to make a video that's clear and covers everything that we can see so far because a lot of it hasn't been officially confirmed but of course have been shown in official material by EA and DICE. We do have some modifications with the deluxe edition in terms of details as part of the elite officer upgrade pack you get the blurg 1120 plus an enchanced grip modification for it. Of course, my guess would be these modifications I'm going to be telling you about now will be in other weapons as well, so they're not going to be limited to just one weapon. The heavy metal upgrade pack features the FWMB10 Mega Plaster plus a barrel vent modification. If you are an assault player, the armoured assault upgrade pack contains the CR2 plus trigger modification and finally the master specialist upgrade pack has the a280 cfe plus scope modification now on to abilities the deluxe edition details that the elite officer upgrade pack will have a battle command ability which might be like krennic's wrath of the empire ability from the scarif dlc the heavy metal upgrade pack brings back the personal shield ability. We don't know what form, but it's going to be probably very similar to how it worked in the first battlefront. The armoured assault upgrade pack has an ability for a grenade. It doesn't mean anything else to us so far. It's very vague. And the master specialist upgrade pack gives us the return of the laser trip mine as an ability. This is something that was introduced in the Death Star DLC. Again, we don't know how it's going to be in this game, whether it's going to look very similar, whether it's going to look very different. We just don't know. Next up, we have two epic ability modifiers for Raid's enemy mind control ability, which is a pre-order bonus or a deluxe edition version piece of content. The same goes for Kylo Ren. He has two epic ability modifiers to freeze and pull up opponents with the force. So these are modifiers for abilities, but there will be customizable options. Another deluxe and pre-order bonus is an epic ability modifier that upgrades the Millennium Falcon to the last Jedi Millennium Falcon, which could mean anything really, but I am going to bet on it's going to be the dish shape changes for the tentative for style one as seen first in the force awakens i'm probably going to be going with the Millennium falcon is going to get better scanning better radar readout but we have no details on that as of yet i would say it's going to be to do with the dish rather than firepower but that's just my thoughts probably because firepower would cause a bit of a player uproar because people that get this would then be have a more powerful modifier those versus those that don't have it and on top of that we don't know any details about The Last Jedi, what's special about The Last Jedi Millennium Falcon. And finally, an epic ability modifier for a new First Order hero ship. Of course, we don't know what that is. It could be a Last Jedi vehicle, Kylo Ren's personal vehicle, I don't know, or something from the campaign not seen in any of the Star Wars media so far. We did have confirmation from Dennis that the thermal imploder would be back, plus the jump pack was in the trailer. There are two other abilities you'll be having fun with in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Last but not least, let's talk about outfits. I want to share with you these four first. The B1 battle droid of the CIS is for the assault class. The rebel navy officer for the Republic in the officer class. The rebel marksman from the specialist class and the First Order Mega Blaster Heavy Assault Stormtrooper, which is their Heavy Trooper for the First Order. We also have the Last Jedi themed looks for Kylo Ren and Rey pre-order and deluxe edition bonuses. In the trailer, we also see various First Order and Empire officers. There are Scout Troopers and also Stormtroopers with Black Pauldrons, but it, this could just be in a single player. I would suspect it's just in the single player for now. There's no info to suggest it will be in the multiplayer. 
This shot shows snow troopers on Hoth, and they probably are going to be map specific, like in the first game. Rebels wise, we have Endor camo infantry, but this is likely going to be map specific as well. There are also rebel pilots, but we don't know if we'll be using their outfit at all. There is also rebel Tatooine themed assault and officer troopers, but it's unknown if this is from the multiplayer, but it does appear it is from the multiplayer. Same goes for these rebels on Hoth and they probably will be map specific as well. Luke also appears to be wearing his Return of the Jedi outfit, whereas Rey has her Jakku one on, so that does show a bit of a difference in terms of Rey's actually going to have, you know, more than one outfit, and Luke, I'm guessing we will just have his old Return of the Jedi outfit in the multiplayer. The Resistance fighter shown here is probably an officer, but again, it could just be from the single player, or it could be from the multiplayer, we just don't know. If we take a look at the key art, which of course is just artwork, but you would expect to see the stuff in this artwork in-game, you can see a standard set of Rebel Fleet Troopers for the Assault class. However, the Heavies appear to have slightly different coloured bulkier armour, and the Specialist is also there, but it is hard to tell if it is a different outfit to the render shown earlier on in the video, or a different one. I would bet it's going to be on a different one, because it would suit Yarvin for or that rebel fleet sort of colour scheme a little bit more. Now for the Empire, there appears to be an officer with an outfit that's very much like the AT-ST pilots and the at, -AT commanders, but with differences, so this could be a customization option. This trooper seems to be a heavy trooper, which has similarities to the sand troopers. And that is all from me in this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It took a while to sort of source all the information and go through all the media we have to try and find out exactly what has been shown off so far. So I'd really appreciate it if you enjoyed it. Make sure to do leave a like. And of course, subscribe if you have not already for all Stars Battlefront 2 news. And if you miss any of the two videos on the screen, go check them out after this one. And I shall see you all in my next Stars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.